Welcome everyone to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and gorgeous PNC Park. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Texas Rangers going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. First pitch coming your way next. Coming up on the first pitch, and our pitcher in this game, number 48. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Swing, and that one hammered. Down the line. If it's fair, it's gone, and that is out of here. Marcus Simeon goes deep, and just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch, and I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. Oh, so much for settling into this game, Boog. No courtesy first pitch take right there. He was ready from the second he stepped into the box, got a pitch to hit, jumped all over it. I tell you what, that'll fire up the guys in your dugout. Seeger stands in now. Put that 600 slugging into context. The league average usually in the low yeah. 400s. There's the strike. Left-hand hitter waits. Misses outside, and the count is one and one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. A little bit high, maybe. Two balls and a strike. Two one. That one missed. And the 3-1. Hammered on a line to the left. Base hit. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day. And a nice job of turning that one around. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. And that's in there for strike one. Runner at first with no outs here. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball. See if he adjusts on this next pitch. Gonna count one and two. Oh. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and played right into the hands of the pitcher. Next to bat will be the Texas cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. And ball one. Seeger leads off first with one away. The next pitch oh, misses 2 and 0. Oh. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play, but in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches and get back into this at bat. Next one misses and it's 3 and 0. Oh. Thought he gave up the home run earlier in this inning, not pitching as aggressively here. And that's in for a strike. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. On the ground to third. To second, there's one. What a double play that was. Inning over. Rangers strike first on the solo job. 
It's now one nothing. You're dialed into the show. Back here in Pittsburgh, and on the mound now, Dane Dunning. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound. Hitters batting under 200 against him, and they're just having a hard time squaring up anything, doing any type of damage. The only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run. But outside of that, it's going to be a tough job for the opposing lineup today. Andrew McCutcheon stands in now and watches strike one. And a pitch. Bounced up the middle. Simeon whips it to first. One gone bottom half of the first. That is no left Brian Reynolds here. In there for strike one. Dunning, oh, one he gets a lot of swing and miss, and he keeps the ball in the yard, not to mention the fact not too many hits either. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Even some of the best guys in the sport are going to give up home runs from time to time, and he's an exception. Yeah, and even with those home runs, if you're throwing strikes and keeping base runners off the paths, then those home runs are solo shots. But to this point, he hasn't had to worry about it. Next to hit, Jack Sawinski. Ball one, no strikes. You look at what the elite guys do. They strike guys out, they limit walks, and they limit the ball going out of the park. The pitch. Yeah, all you want That's is a guy ball. like that. Take the ball every fifth day, go out there, hand it over to the bullpen, perhaps in the seventh inning or later. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing ball. stuff in the dirt. So now three and two. And a swing and a miss. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Down in order go the Pirates. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back here at PNC Park, here's Josh Young. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris. And it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup. And I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Got him looking for the K. No, well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. One down, base is empty. They say it went. Oh, and two. The pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand, probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch, so got to stay ready for it. This one in the air, center field. Sawinski under it. He makes the grab, and there are two down. That accepts that. The designated hitter. Now it's Robbie Grossman. That 
one's in there, 0 and 1. Good eye in that oh. spot. One and one. The one one is fouled off. The one two. Yeah, the one two, two, two. misses to even the count. Comes a 2 2. Checks his swing. Appeal down to third. Yes, he did. That's a swing. Rangers go down quickly there, but they still lead it 1 0. Bottom half of inning number two. And here's the first baseman, Carlos Santana. Santana. And the right hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. And fouled off. Righty delivers. Good job to fight that one off. Next pitch is outside. outside. On the ground, right side. Simeon, toss over to first. That's one out, the bottom of the second. Got it, got it. The third baseman. Key Brian Hayes. Now batting Key Brian Hayes. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. And the first ball. pitch misses for ball one. Wow. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every one year one. you expect him to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. And one and two. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, Boog, one of the things I think about oh. immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders oh, are able to make tough plays look easy. Round ball, left side. Young tosses the first. And that quickly, two away. That is good. That's good. That's good. Tukapita Marcano getting ready to hit. And first offering is fouled off. Look out! And it hit him! Oh, that stings right there. He was just one out away from going back to his seat in the dugout, but instead, he's going to have to face another test. Hopefully, he can forget about the one that got away. Luke, have you forgotten about the one that got away? Connor Joe in the box That's here ball, lets that one go for a ball. Marcano, the runner at first with two gone. the pitch to third young slings to first that's out number three so one left for Pittsburgh and it remains one nothing
top half of the third inning. Leading, leading off, off Josh Smith. The left Josh Smith. The right hander back to work. That's a oh. little bit low. Inside That's just missed. The wide to kick the pitch. And it's fouled away. That's yeah. in there. That is strike two. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull oh. the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch count. you'll see in this at bat to hit. 3 2 now. This one popped up. Marcano sizes this one up. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And there's one down. Here's Leody Tavares. Tavares measures six feet two inches, 24 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Sawinski snags it for the second out. The batter number two, second base. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's Marcus Simeon. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. First pitch doesn't find the zone. But this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. That one missed, now three and oh. Pumps in a strike and now three and one the count. The pitch. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing for the Rangers. They lead it 1 0. Welcome back as we go to the last of the third. Here's the second baseman, G1 Bay. Dunning back to work. And a bunt towards third. Scoops it up barehanded. And that's a great play for the out. Well, I think the defense was anticipating something here because they were really ready to defend as that ball was put down. Nice little drag bunt. But they get the out. Way to go. Austin Hedges stands in. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting. In today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively uh -oh. is a bonus, but he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. I think the other component is putting down the finger that the pitcher wants to throw and being on the same page. And that's something that this guy does really well. Gets in sync with his pitchers. And it bangs up against the wall. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. Grounded out his first time. In there in its own one. Boog, his preparation is off the charts. I was down in the clubhouse today trying to find him just to pick his brain a little bit. He's so buried in that video room, it's hard to get a chance to talk to him. Next offering is down low. One and one. On, 
This ball's chopped on the ground. Quick feed to second for one. Over to first, safe. Brian Reynolds now at the plate. Struck out swinging his first time. Yeah. And that's in there for strike one. Swing and a miss as he was late. Oh and two. McCutcheon off of first with two away. Tapped softly on the ground. Young zips it to first, and that ends the inning. Pirates leave one. They trail here, one nothing. Back here at the ballpark, here's a big power threat. Corey Seager. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. Here comes a pitch. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. 1-1 one, one now. And another ball. Next pitch misses. Three and one now. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Got him. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Nathaniel Low up to hit. Went down on strikes his first time through. Pitches in there. That's strike one. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. That one pushed foul. Line drive and a base hit. Good two strike now, hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Runner on at first with one gone, and next will be the cleanup hitter. Adolis. Fly ball down the line. This has got a chance, and it is foul. A lot of pop in that bat. Had the distance for the oppo home run, but many times you have that slice going to the opposite field, and he just couldn't keep that one fair. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. Righty to the plate. And that one moves his feet. Well, with the... Amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt. A good secondary lead. Doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. Now the third baseman, Josh Young, caught looking his first time up. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Yeah, the right-hander deals, and the pitch is outside, ball one. And that misses off the outside edge. And that's in for a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. 
Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Rangers leave one, but they hold a one nothing lead. And welcome back. Bottom four. Here's the center fielder, Jack Sawinski. And a pitch. That misses the zone. And that's ball one. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. And the righty deals. Misses with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. And a four-pitch walk. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. Grounded out his first time up. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Next one is off the play. It's two and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. At the belt and fires. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, keep Ryan Hayes. Grounded out his first time. Pitch misses there, and that's ball one. And here it comes. And the pitch is in for a strike, and a count one and one. Sawinski stands at first with one out. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Next offering way off the plate. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Tavares settles under it. Puts it away for the out. Now to Capita Marcano digs in now. Hit by a pitch his first time up. In there for strike one. Out to short. Seeger. They get the force. Play made. That ends the inning. So one left for Pittsburgh. They're down one nothing. Back here in Pittsburgh, and now the switch hitting catcher Jonah Heim. Number twenty-eight, Jonah Heim, and a pitch. And first offering is fouled off.
and he grounds one to the right side and it finds its way through for a hit so a man on base to start the inning just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield he just kind of rolled over on it a little bit but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock Robbie Grossman stepping in for the Rangers his first at bat was a strikeout fought off foul a one down. In the air, right side. Joe makes the grab. Then there's one down. Now back, back. left field, John, John Smith. Smith. Next up for Texas, Josh Smith. Runner on the goal. Swing and a miss. Hedges throw. Got him. Caught stealing. Not a fast runner on the base path, so this kind of looks like it was a hit and run call from the dugout. Got to make contact some way or somehow because that guy's not going to be able to steal second base and be safe. Next offering is in for a strike. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some. Oh, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Back here at PNC Park, go. and now well, well, Connor well, 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 Joe. The right All these fans field. definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. And takes low for ball one. One ball, no strike. Slider misses outside. No, that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. Good hitters count the 2-0. That one hammer, but pulled foul. In the air, left field. Smith under this one. Squeezes it. One up, one down. The batter, number three, second baseman. Now it's the second baseman, G1 Bay. That one lifted to left. Smith gets under it and puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two down. Now batter, catcher, Austin. Austin Hedges now, and he's already singled in this game. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Really good athlete, and many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pit. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Still nothing on the scoreboard for him after five. We're through five. It's the Rangers one and the Pirates nothing. Back here at the ballpark, start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton and leading off, Leody Tavares. The wind of the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. 
Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Dwayne Underwood Jr. loosening up in case he's called upon by Derek Shelton. Hernandez, a left-hander, also throwing. The 1-0. Good eye right there. Really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and presents it so well, he still strikes for his pitcher. High in the air, out to right. Joe has a beat on it. Makes the grab, and there's one down. Up next for the Rangers. The second base. So the Rangers' batting order turns over. Up next for the Rangers, Marcus Simeon. One for two with a solo home run back in the first inning. Chris, how about the 2021 season for Marcus Simeon? He was an all-star, and he had 45 home runs. In there at the knees, and it's nothing in two. One of the other aspects of Marcus Simeon, when he first came up with Oakland, he really struggled defensively, and he worked so hard. Ron Washington, a guy that helped him out, he ultimately ended up earning a gold glove. Yeah, Ron Washington has helped out so many infielders over the years. He's even willing to work with guys in the opposing teams. We saw him in the All-Star game working with NL East rival Pete Alonso. Stays alive. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. And here's Corey Seeger to hit. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. No ball, one strike. One run game, one out, one on. And that one in the air, center field. Sawinski under it. And there's two down. Nathaniel Lowe, the next to hit. Nathaniel Lowe. It is third season, 27 years old, and he took home the Silver Slugger last year in the American League. Moved to first. Simeon back in. Another move to first, and he's back again. First That's offering ball. misses the mark. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. One Late ball, with strike. the swing there. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. There's a 1 1. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Simeon off of first with two away. Now this is in the air down the line. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that is that. One left for Texas, but they lead it one to nothing. And welcome back. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. The, the designated hitter. Dunning back to work. And a base hit on the line. 
Man aboard on the leadoff single. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Cool. So I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Brian Reynolds, the next Pirate to hit. Reynolds not having as much success with the bat here at home as you see the splits. There's a strike. That one misses, and it's one and one. One and one. Kicks and fires. Just off the inside edge. Nobody out. Runner at first. to play. McCutcheon round second, heads for third. Here comes the runner. And he's safe. Great effort, but it's a tie ball game. Well, we're starting over again, all tied up. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Jack Sawinski. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. The 1-0. -oh. There's a strike. The 1-1. One, one. And he takes a strike. Out to short. Seeger. One away. Bottom of the sixth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Stepping in, Carlos Santana. First offering and it just misses. Activity in the bullpen. Will Smith, the veteran southpaw, is getting ready to come on if needed. King warming up as well. One out and a runner at second. Hard hit left side. Whips it across. Two gone. The third base is number 13. Up next for the Pirates, Key Brian Hayes. That one to first, low. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. All even at one apiece. New pitcher on now, Dwayne Underwood Jr. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. And now the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. Got to be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. The pitch. 
And what ball one to the right fielder. Well, these Rangers, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Right-handed reliever, and that one fouled off. The next offering misses, and it's two and two. It's a good take. And a base hit right there. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. Now the batter now, Josh Young. And that curveball drops in there for a strike. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Underwood over to first, and he's just back in. Oh, close play. Right-hander kicks, deals. Pitch out, but no action. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Misses off the inside. Yeah, that's ball two. Two balls, one strike. Hard ground ball, base now. Throw holds him at second, but the go-ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here's the catcher to hit, Jonah Heim. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. In there, and it's 0-1. No outs, runners at first and second. He goes down looking. So far, just one of those days for this lineup. You get a couple of runners on, and you're looking at having a big inning. And that strikeout right there just pours water on the fire. Look for the next hitter to step up and try to do something. Pick up his teammate and his club. Now it's the DH, Robbie Grossman. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two on, one out. Misses off the plate. Two balls, no strikes. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Now 3-0. and oh, Josh Smith waits on deck. The pitch. There's a strike, and it's three and one. One out. The go ahead run is at second. And he walked him. Now that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. So next to hit for Texas, Josh Smith. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. And going. now everybody's running. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. And a pitch. 
And there's a ball. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. The 1 1 is fouled off. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. <laughs> Left-hand hitter waits. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Brings it in. Both runners tagging from second and third. He scores. That's a big sacrifice fly. They take the lead. It's 2-1. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Leody Tavares. Clips the outside corner. And that's strike one. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. And he deals. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. 2013 in the playoffs. You caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet was my wrist and my hand. They take the force out. That ends the inning as they squander a chance to pick up some insurance. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Rangers two and the Pirates one. Set for the last half of the seventh at the plate for Pittsburgh to Capita Marcano. That's your stop. pitch this to center field Tavares settles under it and there's one away the right fielder number two now it's the right fielder Connor Joe up Simeon makes the catch for the out two way down the bat number three second baseman G1 here's the second baseman G1 Bay Pitch in for a strike, and it's 0-1. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. In the air, left field. Smith settles under this one and makes the play, and that's out number three. Three up, three down that time. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Rangers two and the Pirates one. Jose Hernandez taking over on the mound. The southpaw's been really good against left-handed hitters. Here is Marcus Simeon. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. The pitch. That one's in there. Strike one. Outside. That's the ball. The one one. Swings through that one for strike two. And a ball Number evens two. the count. High 
high fly ball down the left field line. And he makes the catch. And there's one away. The bat number five. Shortstop. Now it's Corey, Corey Seager. Seager. This guy has turned into a beast. And he'll one. Liner caught it second. That'll drive you crazy as a hitter if you let it. I mean, he couldn't have hit that ball more on the screws than he did, and yet he's got nothing to show for it. Hang with him. I know the feeling. Next up for Texas, Nathaniel Lowe. Little chopper rolls foul. The 0 1. Check swing, and that's a ball. One ball, one strike. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Hayes makes the catch, and that is that. One, two, three, go the Rangers. But they still lead it two to one. Taking over on the mound for the Rangers, Jonathan Hernandez. Well, he's a big time strikeout guy out there. This season, averaging more than one per inning. Number 72, Jonathan Hernandez. Derek Shelton bringing a bat off the bench now. Jason DeLay. And a pinch. That misses. Ball one. One ball, no strike. The tying run at the plate. And that one is inside. Movement in the bullpen. Jose Leclerc, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Two zero. Foul ball. Righty delivers. Up the middle. On the run. Throw to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Up next hit by the designated hitter, Andrew. And next is the designated hitter, Andrew McCutcheon. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Hammer down the right side, but foul. Looking to get the tying run on base. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Got him swinging. Now two away. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there. Just nasty. Looks like a fastball thigh high that you got to protect the zone. And then it's just that late break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly. Ryan Reynolds, the next pirate to hit. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two outs. Not even close there. Ball two. Let's go, Pirates. All right. Let's go. 
That's a strike. Swing and a miss. And the count is even two and two. The healthy cut. Tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Next offering misses. And now three and two. Jack Sawinski waiting on deck if they extend the inning. Plenty of pop in his bat, so he could give them the lead with one swing if he gets the chance. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Nothing across here this half. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Rangers two and the Pirates one. So remaining in the game defensively, Jason DeLay. He takes over behind the plate to do the catching after entering the game as a pinch hitter. So here's the cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And a pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Hernandez goes six feet, three inches. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he works one, at a two-seamer. The 1-1. One, one. Well struck left field. And it's off the wall. Cut off, throw to second, but he's in there easily. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. So up next, Josh Young. First pitch doesn't find the zone. 1-0. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. I think he was sitting off speed there. Next offering is in for a strike. Kicks and deals. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. And here's the catcher. Jonah Heim. A switch hitter batting right. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know... I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. First offering the misses the mark. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field. Ah, ground ball, and that's through the infield. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Now, just a total nightmare for lefties. I'd be very surprised to see that matchup again. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Runners on the corners with one gone. Robbie Grossman stepping in for the Rangers. One ball, no strike. Get this strike out, man. The next pitch misses. And now 2-0. Oh. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. And the pitch. That one's spoiled, and the count now 2-1. and one. Here comes the pitch. And there's the strike. Four there by the changeup. 
And in a hole right here. He's got to try to shorten up a little bit, put the ball in play. Next pitch misses. And now it's three and two. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's an at-bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Now here is Josh Smith. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. That one's in there. And the count even at one. Steal. Double steal. The squeeze has popped up. On the run, sends it over to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. A couple of hits in the inning, but they can't get them home. Hard of the order, 3-4-5 will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Rangers 2 and the Pirates 1. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Jose Leclerc. He comes in with a chance for his second save of the season. Okay. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Jack Sawinski. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. The pitch. Good eye right there. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in, and he spits on that one. Next pitch inside, now 2-0. And the right-hander deals. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. That one misses. And the closer in danger of walking the tying run. Carlos Santana to bat next. And the righty deals. And that's in for a strike. As a hitter, you don't know what to expect here in the 3 2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3 1, he'll do it again 3 2. Smash to the left side. Seeger fires over to first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Up next, the first base. So digging in, Carlos Santana. First pitch, just misses. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. That one missed. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. In for a strike. Two and two. Just amazing to me how many closers and back-end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Next one misses, and that's ball three. Key Brian Hayes in the on-deck circle. Home team down a run. Here in the last half of inning number nine. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a great back and forth, and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches, and somehow, Bull, he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. is lifted in the air no trouble here puts it away for the out and there's two away now, now, 
Big spot here. Bottom of the ninth. Down to their final out. Now to Capita Marcano. That's through there for a strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. And now one strike away. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Trying to keep the game alive here in the bottom of the ninth. the ball game after four wins in a row you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own guys start hitting up and down the lineup you never know who's going to come up with the big hit who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs but it's a good feeling and you want to extend it at your final score here today 2-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew I'm John Chompy saying so long